Good morning. Yes, we're joined by owners Paula and Ed. We thank you both for being here today. But Paula, I want to start with you. We've seen prices increase just in the last few hours. Can you talk a little bit about what you're seeing today? Um, the, the pricing is being drawn by the commodities market. Um, we've seen an increase of 60 cents from yesterday morning to, to right now per gallon at the rack when we go to load our trucks. Um, there is no supply and demand. Customers should not panic about that. We are there for you and we will get you your duty oil um, in a timely fashion and on time when you need it. For those customers that have had an oil delivery just recently, you're hopefully not going to be needing any more oil anytime soon. And by the time you do need it, hopefully this um, increase in price will come back down to a more normal status. And then until then, what are some ways that people can reach out, some resources out there that can provide them help if they need it? If any customer is in need of help with their oil um, payments or getting oil or equipment maintenance, they should try to call 211 for Operation Fuel and or the, the Connecticut uh, Emergency Fuel Assistance Program. They should also try to reach out to their local municipalities if they're unaware of what they might have available and or their local churches. Okay, great. And Ed, I want to go on over to you now. What are some ways that people can cut down on their bills to save some money here and there? A lot of people like to turn their thermostats way down when they leave during the day, which does save them money while they're gone. But when they come home and turn their heat back up, all the energy they have saved in that time period will be used plus some. You should maybe think about keeping your thermostats four to five degrees lower than where you normally set it to and always remember to have your system service maintained yearly by a licensed heating company. Great. Well, thank you both. A lot of great information here and for you at home as well. We're live in Hamden, Lindsay Kane, Fox 61 News. All right, Lindsay, thanks. Important information.